animals to survive. We're not born vegetarians. Brother, how old are you? How old do you think the animal was in the, in, that you're eating? Hi, my name is Joey Carbstrong. I'm a vegan who has spent the last seven years trying to convince people that animal cruelty is wrong without as much success as I hoped. So I thought I'd try a new, completely opposite approach. I'd pretend to support animal cruelty and harness the power of reverse psychology. You're deleting your brain wall. What? Okay. This is how it went. So I've got a sign here. What do you think about the sign? Did you read the sign? It is interesting. Yeah, I was saying there's nothing wrong with animal cruelty. What do you think about that? They've always done nothing with animal cruelty. Always? You're eating a burger, brother. There's an animal in the burger. Oh, he actually was eating a burger. There, there, there's an animal in the burger. He actually was eating a burger. Yeah, he oh. said there's always something wrong oh, with animal right, cruelty. Same. He was eating a burger. Hi, yeah. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Hello, how are you? Hello. Absolutely this guy love here, you. Hey. you are his hero. Yeah, he turned you vegan. Uh, he, he, he turned me vegan. He does not stop banging Hello. on about you. Hey, guys. Hey, Hello, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm Steve. I'm a Kiwi. Hello, Steve. I, uh... Hey, Kiwi Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You, to meet you is on my bucket list. Oh, really? Yeah. And you just did? Yeah. No. Now you can die. Yeah. You. You don't die, bro. Thank you for everything you've done. Ah, thank you, mate. You're a fucking legend. Bless you, my friend. Yeah. Thank you. There's lots wrong with it. Obviously, we all... There's animals of cruelty in a way because we eat animals. The way you, you come across this is like you're just going to start kicking animals for no reason. Well, I mean, if you were to kick an animal, I probably wouldn't have that bigger issue with it because when you think about it, like... Well, you don't kick an animal for no reason. I mean, let's just say I want to kick him to tenderise him before I eat him. We saw you on uh, this morning previously. Oh, really? The female calves will suffer the same fate as their mother, which is forcible impregnation. They're not getting pregnant naturally, forcefully. And the thing that you said about milk and about cows being raped in order to do that, that was something because, oh, is it? Is it? Is a bloody extreme, Mrs. Zanutta. But when you actually think about it, you can't massively disagree with what you're saying. I do eat meat, I'm a meat eater, but I'm not your typical meat eater. Say, for example, if um, even from a very young age, say, for example, someone gives me a steak or a slice of beef or um, anything that actually looks like meat, in my head from a young age, I've always thought it looks like flesh. And I've never been able to eat it. For me, like I said, I did veganuary and it was just all in too much too soon. I know I need to make that change and I'm all for it, but I just think it's it's something, it's a complete change to everything I've done. I'm 35 yeah. and it, I think it's, it's, a, it's a journey and it's educating and knowing in perspective of what it all is. You yeah. don't do something for no reason. If you're going to kill somebody and eat them, that's part because you're hungry, you need to survive. You don't do it just for no reason. Okay, okay, okay. Do you eat animals because you're trying to survive? Well, because I have to. It's, it's what I enjoy. It's part of my life. I eat animals. I, I understand, but... I could become a vegetarian. Do you do it because you're trying to survive? That's all I want to know. Yeah, it is, but I wouldn't kick an animal for no reason. Can you, can you live without eating animals is what I want to know. I can do, but... So, so, you were doing needless animal cruelty as well. You were supporting needless animal cruelty as well because you're not doing it to survive. You're doing it because... I am doing it to survive. We all need certain nourishments in our bodies. Okay. We're not, we're not born vegetarians. Even the texture, even to the point where I was nearly force-fed it as a child, literally makes me wrench. So the only type of meat that I've ever been able to eat has always been like um, a beef burger, um, chicken breast, if there's any sort of bone or anything involved, makes me wrench because it... <laughs> you don't sound like a natural what, it, 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 do you? Yeah, and it... Oh, really? vegan tea. Oh, did you? Oh, really? Oh, which one? Um, Milk, make your own mark? Oh, my videos? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Respect. Respect. Take care. I've never eaten meat. Wow. Well. I'm 100% vegan and always Wow. Well. Where you go? What about you? You, you? you don't get off the hook. You don't get off the hook. Wait a second. But, yeah, thank you. It you worked, worked, it worked. It worked. Thank you. Keep going. No worries. Yeah. See, you, see you later. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, no worries. Uh, so. What's this? Paddington Bear? That's for, that's for children, bro. <laughs> that's for children. Why are you with children? Brother, how old? 
old are you? Some chips. How old are you, bro? Why does it matter? Yeah, I've been How old are you? 42. I've been more than 10. 10. Six years old. No, the chips are vegan I'm, there. I'm the chips are vegan. I don't want this, bro. You can take it if you want. I'm no But, bro, what are you eating this junk for? This is disgusting. Slaughtered animals. See if you can watch the whole thing, Dominion. Show what happens to animals. Have you seen it? I've seen it about 12 times. You won't watch it. It's on YouTube. Yeah, we'll Will you watch it, bro? Dominion. Not minions, don't minions. How old do you think the animal was in that uh, you're eating? At least six. No, 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 no. The chickens are, guess how, how old chickens are when they're eaten? About between four and six weeks. How old were the potatoes? Old. So they're little, they're little baby chicks. And how are they killed? How do they kill chickens here? In very cruel ways. Terrible ways. In a gas chamber. Is it? This planet is full of animals. Yeah. And we're all animals. Animals, we eat each other. It's life. But you don't do it unnecessarily. So you don't do it unnecessarily? You wouldn't kick someone. Just you, what, A dog walks down the street, you wouldn't just kick a dog. What about this? I take the dogs. Mm -hmm. I put them in a factory farm. I raise them the same way you get your bacon and your chicken. I put them through there. Like Maybe I've given them antibiotics to, to make them grow bigger. There's probably a bit of dog shit in there. It's probably not that hygienic, but we give them antibiotics and that. And then, you know, they, they might they might give birth to puppies in the farrowing crates, you know, like they do with the pigs. You know, I might snip their tail off so they don't bite each other's tails. I might clip their teeth down like they do with the pigs. I treat them how we treat pigs or how we treat chickens. And then I send them to a slaughterhouse. They might put them down into a CO2 gas chamber like they do with the pigs, you know. And they, they might scream for a little while, but I'll come and make bacon out of them afterwards. Would uh would that be would that be cruelty? In a way, it is crucial, yeah. But what, okay. your, your way of like, of your thinking, what you're saying here is a bit. Uh, over I don't the top. think there's anything wrong with that because I'm eating them, and neither do you because you eat them too. No, you're putting that side across as if you're just going to kick an animal in the street for no reason. If I'm hungry and I'm an animal like a lion, yeah, I need to eat and feed my family. I will go out and kill an animal to survive and feed my family. To survive. To survive. In a survival situation. Yeah, I know okay. that the society we live in. Is a different world today because yeah, you, I mean, we're all who here is trying to survive? Everybody. If, really? you, if you didn't feed nobody, so you think we, do you think we're in a survival situation here? Everyone needs to. Everyone needs to feed and eat. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah everyone, like, so let's what, just say, what you say if you take away, if you take away meat from everyone, everyone's a vegetarian. What then, would happen? Will we die? All of us will die. The, the, a lot of people would die because then you'd only have, you'd have to rely on the vegetation in, in the world, which is not a lot. Wait, wait. The animals people eat. What are they eating? plants like ourselves if we okay. if we had to just rely on plants everyone the, so you wouldn't have enough animals in the world because they'd be taking away our food because we're not eating them and, and because we're only eating vegetarian food like the animals then there's no cycle of life where you can't survive no. on everyone being a vegetarian let me let me get this straight so about i think it's about 80 billion land animals like chickens and cows and pigs are being killed every year they're eating plants and there's only eight billion people so what is your point yourself, to be uh, fair? Well, I'm trying to say that. Are you a vegetarian yourself? No, no, no. no. What, what, what are you, though, to be fair? Because, I mean, you're asking all these questions. And well, well, I'm you've got this sign I mean, here. The, the veg what is it? What is it? Well, what well, are basically, you? basically, most people here, right, if you look around, they support animal cruelty, yeah? When they go into the store and you pay for something, so let's say there's a guy selling bacon there. I go in there, I buy the bacon. Animals are farmed in factories and they're killed in factories, right? Most most people and family, mo, mo, most farms are quite, they love their animals. They send them to slaughter after a certain time, but they love their animals. The thing that I think is really important is, right now, it's currently uh, culturally acceptable to eat meat, but it's changing. Um, bit by bit, my sister recently became vegan, and uh, she's there trying to get us all along, and trying to push us in that direction, and the only way that that's going to be possible, I think, is uh, by making the vegan foods as tasty and as 
easily available as uh, the so convenience, alternative. taste, maybe cost as well. Abs absolutely. Yeah. So, and education. Yes. You have to show people why they yeah. should avoid it. Uh, uh, the education is quite literally stopped. No, it, it should be in schools. It should be in schools. If that was meat in industry wouldn't like yeah, that. If it was in schools, there is no child that would grow up and eat meat. Exactly. If, they, if children at school were shown exactly what happens, they're big enough to learn about sex education. They why, should learn about what. Why, why are they not big enough to learn about? Well, you were force-fed meat. Yes. You didn't naturally yes. want to eat meat. Yeah, literally. You know, literally. And uh, I think like if children especially knew the truth. Yeah. They, it would not happen. You just have to have a conversation. Would not happen. Don't you? Like with a kid, you say, nephew, "Hey, like, my yeah. nephew already uh, because he found out that a burger is a cow. Um, he will not eat a burger." There you go. Yeah. Children aren't cruel like that. No, they're not. They're and they would be disturbed they're condi they they're conditioned to just accept it because uh, they it happens from when they're young. Uh, and their parents are. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, social norms. And if I showed slaughterhouse footage, right, and there's kids walking past, I'd get in trouble by the parents. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, you, but, um, you'd have your screen taken yeah. down. And they'd be like, be, "Oh, you might don't want my kids see this." If you should be arrested and yeah. say it, it was. Uh, Can I say something to you? Yeah, right. Shake your hand. Right. It's because you know of you that my daughter became vegan. Really? Right. And the whole family. And the whole family. Where her parents? Really? You're all and vegan now. Wow. Wow. She she texted and said we have to turn. So she turned you. The kids are turning too. Wow. And her boyfriend. Wow. And my sister-in-law. And it's having a trickle. Amazing. So you're making an impact. Yeah. No, you make the impact. You make the impact. Thank you. Really good to meet you. Yeah, it's really lovely to meet you. Thank you. It's really good to hear this story. She's an Ireland of Ireland. We told her you were here. I just like tell Joey it's because of him that we became. Wow. She became vegan. And then she influenced you. just hit um, a really important point. Yeah. It's not we just, were just about talking about kids. Yeah, and I, they were I don't think their it's kids. just about educating the children. I think it's just about education for all. Everyone. Uh, because it, if the, the real truth and the real facts were put in front of everyone and they were shown what goes into them having their uh, morning slice of bacon, yeah. um, that piece of bacon would be a lot less appetizing than it is currently. You wouldn't eat a dog even if it was inconvenient to? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So if you added the same um, level of inconvenience to avoiding dogs, you would do it. Yeah, yeah. But the reason you don't do it is because right now, and it's really hard to like say to you because I know you care. Yeah. You don't care about these other animals yeah. enough. And you're well yeah. within your right to say that. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, otherwise you would avoid it like you would avoid dog meat. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Or any other animal that's not, you know, the done thing. It's such a natural thing, isn't it? That people eat, like you say, people eat bacon. People eat beef. They all, they, it all comes from an animal, um, and uh, you know, it's it is a it's a grad for me. It's a journey that I'm willing to be on, and it's going to be a, a gradual thing. Yeah. But I do 100% have the view that one day I absolutely will be vegan, and that is my goal because I I do struggle when it comes to egg, milk, cheese, all that sort of stuff. I that's where I do have a struggle because. is wrong for so many reasons other than the killing yeah um, we, we made a documentary on it here and it's called milk make your own mind up okay I would just have a watch of that yeah if you're if, if, it, you, if it changes my mind if, if you're if, if you watch it and you go okay now I know the full impact of my choices I, I, I just yeah that's exactly what I need I think because yeah. the why is the reason is the motivator for what you do yeah yeah and uh, that's the reason I'm still vegan after nearly yeah. nine years so okay but brilliant thank you so much it's really nice to meet you yeah you too take care thank you have a good evening but what about dogs like we did what we did to pigs and chickens and cows the dogs yeah what would you say about that because they're animals well, I've, I've, I've answered that it's survival isn't it love yeah. each other love everything around yeah I like, I love. from trees plants and animals, animals. 
But everyone has to survive. And you, I wouldn't want to eat someone I love, that's for sure. I, I, I don't think that love and eating them are connected myself. Of course, no, but, no, but you're, missing, you're missing me points. You're still loving these animals that are dying, but you have to survive. And it's respect, and that's what happens. Anyway, nice speaking to you. All no about. worries. Bless you, my friend. Have a good okay. night. Take care. Why aren't you vegan? Um, Cause you're really, it's uh, easier not to. Yeah. It's easier not Convenience. to. Convenience. Yeah, 100%. It's easier not to. And currently, it's cheaper not to. Maybe. Okay, the two. Okay, so they're the two main reasons for you. Yeah. But you agree it's the right thing to do. Yes, one million percent. Okay. Mm -hmm. So because it's, let me ask you this: if it was a little inconvenient to avoid dog meat. Oh. Would you eat the dog meat? I wouldn't eat dog meat if my life depended on it. Well, there you go. I know. But you would eat the meat from other animals, and it's not like your life depends on it. It's a bit of inconvenience. I know. Um, I, I, what I if do it was a little bit more expensive to avoid dog meat? I, I, I do understand the argument. I really do, and that's I agreed with a lot about what you said about meat. But I really like milk. Still to this day, as a grown-up, I, I really like milk. Dairy milk. Yeah, I do. And you know and the process. I, I, I've tried, uh, see, after what I saw, um, the things that you talked about, I've moved over more to almond milk. Oh, cool. Literally as a direct result. But at the same time, I do still eat, uh, I do still drink dairy milk. Yeah. And the only way that I can do that is because I have to literally block out of my mind the things that you had said. And again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm deliberately being ignorant. Do you know, it, it's deliberate ignorance. The thing, the thing that, that gets, it's not actually as hard as you think to avoid dairy milk. You just go like that in the supermarket, or you, like if you had the right um, resources, do you think you would, like, like let's just say I gave some resources. If almond milk bit, was the same price as uh, dairy milk, was, I, would, I would drink just. I think you can get uh, soya, and oat for about 50p a litre. If you've got someone who cares about animals like you do, mm. and you go, well, every time I buy dairy, mm. this happens to the cows, some horrible, horrible thing, and they go to a slaughterhouse when they're not uh, profitable anymore. See, even you just saying that right now, that makes me extremely uncomfortable. And I think the more that you say that to people, if you speak to them directly and say, this is what's gonna happen to that cow every time you have a glass of milk, that's what needs to happen more. Just you saying that right now, it makes me not want to drink milk anymore. Think of it like this. When you give money to the dairy industry, you're donating to an animal charity, but they're not an animal charity. They just, they just abuse animals for money. But like you wouldn't donate to a charity that you knew, knew was abusing and killing animals for money. I know. And, and that's what the dairy industry is. The, th the thing is, you're an inconvenience to a lot of people right now. Yeah. Um, and um, I think you should continue doing it because the more you talk about this stuff, the more it makes people like me uncomfortable with the way that we, we lead our lives. I think you've got a big heart, compassionate person, easy to talk to, you know what's right. I just think uh, if you, if you, I think... You know, are, are, are these some tips on how to how, these make how, it easier to be better? These are how-to. These are some documentaries that you really need to like learn about. So you know what you're paying for. You've got to know what you're paying for. I mean, and then uh, here's some how-to. This should be on national TV. TV, not, really not, not something that you have to search for. No, the, the, really the, the, or this should be in schools because um, I genuinely believe what you're doing is a positive thing. It's really good talking Thank to you. you. And you. You're just lovely and I hope you use that big heart, put it into action. 